June 14, 1849, you Indian Chief Walker appeared in Salt Lake City and asked Mormon leader Brigham Young to send colonists to the Sand Pitch Valley to teach his people how to till the soil and build homes. Brigham Young sent four men with Chief Walker as their guide to evaluate the potential for settlement. Crossing the divide through Salt Creek Canyon, they entered the beautiful Sand Pitch Valley and reached the present site of Manti on August 20th, 1849. After a few days of exploration, the party returned to Salt Lake City with a favorable report for settlement. On October 28th, 1849, a company of 225 settlers, consisting of 50 families, left Salt Lake City under the direction of Isaac Morley. Reaching Manti on November 22, 1849, in the middle of a swirling snowstorm, the first camp was made on City Creek. Within a few days, the valley lay blanketed under three feet of snow. Canvas-covered wagons provided little protection against the bitter wind and freezing temperatures. Desperately, in search of better shelter, the settlers turned to the hill where the Manti LDS Temple now stands. Some settlers began immediately to dig room-sized holes in the side of the hill, while others felled trees along the creek and dragged them up the hill to complete a home. Though crude, these humble shelters, the first pioneer homes in the Sand Pitch Valley, provided more protection than the wagons and sustained the company through the winter. With the coming of spring, the snow began to melt. The peaceful settlement awakened to the continuous hissing of rattlesnakes. In hibernation throughout the bleak winter, the serpents emerged from hillside walls inside the dugouts as the season warmed. Snakes coiled throughout the homes in boxes, on tables, buckboards, and beds. After battling the bitter, bitter winter, the settlers were called upon to launch another vigorous fight, this time slaughtering hundreds of snakes in one night. Brigham Young agreed with the name Manti, which Isaac Morley suggested for the new settlement. Territorial surveyor Jesse Fox laid out the town site in 1850, and soon log, adobe, and limestone homes and buildings were being erected. Manti was incorporated on February 6, 1851, the third community incorporated in the Utah Territory. It was designated the hub for other colonization endeavors in the valley and for other settlements to the south and east. By 1853, a post office was established, and in that year, Manti's population swelled by a large group of Danish converts to Mormonism, the second largest ethnic group to settle central Utah. In 1854, to gain protection from Indian attacks during the Walker War, three forts were built in Manti, causing it to be sometimes called Manti Forts. Smaller settlements in the area were temporarily abandoned for the duration of the war and relocated to Manti. During the war years, the settlers lived in the forts but walked or rode to their outlying fields to farm. Indian raids during the Walker War slowed town development, as did years of devastating grasshopper infestations, which greatly reduced harvests. In spite of these hardships, by October 1853, the first city census showed that Manti had a population of 647, nearly three times the number of settlers who had come less than four years earlier. Hostilities ended in 1872, allowing the pioneers to move out from the forts to settle new town sites, expand farming operations, and used the bench and mountain rangelands for feeding livestock. Many Mormon settlers who fought and died in the wars are buried at the Manti Cemetery.
between 1890 and 1920, Manti reached its population peak of more than 2,500 residents. Its commercial district expanded during the same period. As Manti grew, it diversified its farming and livestock industry production. Starting in the 1920s, poultry became a major enterprise. The early 20th century brought the Rocky Mountain Packing Corporation's Pea Factory in 1923. The Manti Cheesery in the same year, and the Apex and Peerless Hatcheries. An industry that developed out of war need was the Reliance Manufacturing Company, a major employer during the 1940s. Without a doubt, the finest building erected in the county is the Manti Temple. The building was commenced in 1877, the year Brigham Young died. The Manti Temple looms cathedral-like over the city and is visible for miles in every direction. Designed by architect William Folsom, the temple has been an important religious structure for Mormons throughout central, eastern, and southern Utah since its completion in 1888. Manti still has more than 100 buildings that were built by pioneer craftsmen, more than any other city in Utah.
If you'd like to see more of this type of content, please hit the like button. Leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe.